I, I love the words quiet activism. I mean, it's uh, it sounds so innocuous, right? But it's just so impactful. <laughs> um, it's uh, it sounds gentle and it sounds you know so, uh, non-threatening, but um, in my experience, it's very very impactful. Um, I have I'm uniquely positioned in that my personal and professional experience in the FGM space are intertwined. Uh, I, as mentioned in my video, I come from a tribe in Kenya called Meru that used to practice FGM, but no, well, I, I would like to say no longer does um, because my mother didn't go through it. So I, it was probably her mother that went through it. Um, but there was a uh, it was never spoken of, never, you know. And so fast forward, I find myself, you know, running an organization in Clarkson, Georgia, where which is a resettlement hub for refugees. And I come across women who come from cultures where FGM is prevalent. And this becomes part of my work day to day.